Hi, my name is Amrik. Welcome to this tutorial video. In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to get professional support for Survey CTO. In part one of this video, we're going to look at how to open a support ticket. In part two of this video, we're going to look at how to manage access to support from your account. Both trial users and paying subscribers have access to professional support. In order to access professional support, you need to open the support center. One way of getting to the support center is via the product documentation. If you open the documentation, there's a link to open the support center under the search field. If this is your first time going into the support center, you may be asked to enter your name to confirm your email address. I'll show you an example of that later on when I discuss giving support access to additional users on your account. If you're the same person who started the account, this isn't necessary. The Support Center is also accessible from support.surveycto.com. Fill in your credentials and your server name and log in. When you arrive at the Support Center, you can open a support ticket from one of the submit request links. So I'm going to click on submit support request. Let's fill in the details of my request. So as I have finished my subject line, I can see that the support center is suggesting various articles that might be applicable to my problem. Scanning through this, I don't think at first glance that the answer to my question is in one of these, so I'm going to go ahead with the support ticket. Please include a detailed explanation of the problem you're experiencing. Details of what you tried with reference to product documentation and sample forms can also be useful. Include an error message, if relevant, including screenshots or any other attachments relevant to helping us understand the problem. My support request is now complete. I'm going to attach a copy of my form design in Excel format as well. If you're working in the online form designer, look for the export button at the top. Also consider including any other attachments that make sense. For example, CSV files for preloading. I'm happy with my request now, so I'm going to go ahead and submit this. Check your email for a notification. You will receive an email every time your ticket is updated and can respond directly to messages via email. It looks like I got an email from the support center. Ah, so that's how it's done. So I can either respond to the support ticket in email, or I can go back to the support center and take a look at my requests. So here we go, awaiting my response. Let's open it up. So here's my query, here's the response. This is exactly the advice that I was looking for. In part two of this video, we're going to look at managing access to support on your account. Professional premium subscribers get three support users, while all other subscribers get a single support user. First, user accounts need to be set up on your server console. From there, you can go into manage subscription to manage access to support. So if I scroll down, we can see our support management area. We have two users who are authorized as support users. And I have a third user account, which is not yet authorized. But I'm going to show you what happens when we try and log in with this user. Now I've entered the credentials for this user and the server name. So I'm going to log in to support. Now, because this is the first time this user is logging into support, we'll ask for a name. So I'm going to fill in something. 
Now I just need to confirm this email account. Right, so here's the email. Let's click on the link. So we are now logged in and able to submit a support request. Now I have added a fourth user to this trial survey CTO account. Let's see what happens when we try and access support. First, let's take a look at the manage subscription page. See here that we now have four users and only three are authorized. If you try and add a fourth support user, you are told that only three individuals are allowed to open support requests. So you'll need to prioritize who amongst your users should have this level of access. Let's see what happens when we try and open a support ticket. So as before, I'm going to go via documentation, click on support center. As before, we're logging in with this account for the first time. So we need to capture the user's name. Again, we need to confirm this email address. So let's check the email inbox for this email account. Here's the confirmation email. Let's click on the link. Okay, so we're now logged into the support center. All users above data collection users should be able to access the support center to review the resources here. However, not everyone will be able to open a support request. As the manager of a survey CTO account, you'll need to prioritize who on your team has this sort of access. Let's go back to the manage subscription page in order to give this new user access. I'm going to remove access for one user and add for my new user. Now let's go back to the support center. I'm going to refresh the page and click on submit a request. You now know how to submit a support request and manage access to support on your survey CTO account. Thanks for watching.